Chris 3 came out about a month ago and I just got a chance to watch it. So let's have a chat about it. Hi, I'm Tayo. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't. And also check out my blog. I have a blog on WordPress. The link will be in the description box. So, Creed 3. This is a 2023 American sports drama film and it is the directorial debut of Michael B. Jordan who is also the star of this movie. So the Creed 3 it starts with a like kind of a flashback backstory kind of thing. So it's 2002 and you see young Adonis Creed aka Donnie we see him sneaking out of his house to meet his friend and um, the Golden Glove champion, Damian Anderson, also known as Dame or Diamond Dame. So they both sneak out to go to a wrestling match that night. So, um, and then Damian was in the match and he won it. So they left the match and then Damian was so hyped, he was happy. And he was telling Donnie how he wants to go professional in his wrestling and win a lot of titles and become one of the best wrestlers in the world. So anyway, they stop at a liquor store and um, then they see a man that they knew from their past. If you watch the movie, you understand. I don't want to spoil it. So they knew this man from their past then... Um, Donny attacked the man, so people were trying to save the man. So then he had a gun with him, and he pulled out the gun. So but the cops came and um, Donny managed to get away. Then um, Damien was arrested because, like that was not his first encounter with the police. So. Yeah, the it was like his last one, so they arrested him, and he was locked up. So we go back to the present day, and um, we see Donny all oh, grown up now, and um, he has retired from boxing, so he's concentrating on his family. That is his wife, his wife Bianca, his daughter Amara, and his mother Mary Jane. So he was spending more time with them, and he. He ran like a gym where he trained aspiring wrestlers with the help of um, Tony Evans, a.k.a. Duke. So Donnie and Duke, they run the gym and um, they train aspiring wrestlers. So at that time, Donnie was promoting a wrestling match between his protege and like a... The current heavyweight champion Felix Chavez was his protege, so but he uh, was promoting a match between Felix Chavez and Victor Drago. So yeah, um, Felix was training for the match. So anyway, then Damien gets out of prison, and he shows up at that gym and he meets Donny. So they talk, they hang out. Tony takes him to a restaurant for lunch, and Damien tells Tony that he wants to go back into wrestling because he's really good at it, and he felt that it was taken away from him all those years while he was locked up. So, but now he's back. He wants to reclaim his position. Donny felt obligated because he kind of felt guilty for Damien being locked up for those years. So, but when he told Duke about it, that Damien wants to come back into wrestling, they should let him in the gym. Duke did not like it. He was not in support. And even um, Chavez, Felix Chavez, they did not approve of it. So anyway, Donny continued to hang out with Damien and but it did not help him in, into wrestling. So um then Drago he gets attacked 
at a party for Bianca's record label. That was um Donny's wife a record label. They were throwing a party so that Drago went to but he got attacked by a group of unknown people. So he got injured and um he, and that made him unable to continue training or even participate in the upcoming match because it was like a few weeks away and they gave Draco like six months to recover from all his injury. So anyway, Donny trying to save himself and make the match go on as scheduled, he agrees to let Damien take Drago's place and fight um Chavez. So um the first comes and um Damien wins and becomes the champion so he gained a little bit of popularity and um it let it get into him and it was in his feelings then he started being disrespectful to Donny and he was publicly insulting and slandering Donny, calling him a fraud, calling him weak and all sorts of things. So Donny finally had enough of it because um Dame was not trying to reason with him, he was just um disrespecting him. So Donny challenged Dame to a match to settle their differences once and for all. So the men agrees and they begin to train and yeah, that was the big match at the final. So that's what this movie is about. This movie it's about family, it's about loyalty and trust. You see that family was very important to Donny. He loved his immediate family and he saw Damien as a family because they knew each other since they were children and he felt obligated to look after him and take care of him and help him. And also see loyalty and trust. Um Damien felt Donnie was not loyal to him because he felt abandoned when he was locked up and um Donnie was not checking up on him and Donnie is now living the life that he dreamed of. So he felt bad and yeah, that's why he was acting it. So in this movie, it's we we'll get um the background into how Adonis Creed was brought up and how he became the man that we all know now as Donny Creed. Yeah, so which is nice. Um. Anyway, I enjoyed this movie. I'll give it an eight out of ten. Um, the movie is interesting. Mind you, it has. A lot of violence in it and profanity, so I don't think it's suitable for kids. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you for tuning in. And um, please subscribe if you haven't liked this video. And check out my blog. Link will be in my description box. To my next video. Bye.